Hello, fellow historians. Um, my um, discussion is on Mary Ludwig, um, who was born in 1754 around Trenton, New Jersey. Um, their skepticism as to how much of the tall tales of famous women are actually credible. Um, but the details of the legend include a story of Mary Ludwig Hayes following her husband, Mary, I mean, William Hayes, on the, um, to the Battle of um, Mammoth in June 28th of 1778. Mary Pritcher was a name for women on the battlefield who would distribute water to the soldiers through a pitcher um, to keep them hydrated or comfort them as uh, they helped them heal their wounds. Mary Ludwig Hayes carried this title because um, this was her contribution to the war and to the colony and she had very much patriotism. Um, she uh, followed her husband as many wives did um, and Mary's husband collapsed on the battlefield and as a result of um, either a wound or extreme heat so William's duty as a soldier was to operate a crane during battles. When William collapsed, the legend is that Mary gave her husband water and the general called for a retreat of the canyon due to William's collapse and him being the only one who could operate it so well. So Mary ran to the cannon and let the general know that she was going to fire it um, for the soldiers. And the legend states that um, she fired the cannon for at least four hours until the battle was over that day. Other stories exaggerate that a cannon from an enemy actually fell through um, between her legs and narrowly missed her um, and then tore her petticoat, um, according to Britannica. In honor of her service as a patriot, General George Washington supposedly uh, promoted her to either Sergeant Molly or Captain Molly as non-commissioned officer for her courageous acts, um, according to University Wire and Britannica. Um, it is obvious that Mary became famous because she courageously took over her husband's duties as cannon operator in the Mammoth, Battle of Mammoth, Manmouth. Um, there's record of pension awarded to Mary Hayes for services rendered confirming she was active and heroic in the battle, according to Britannica academics. It is obvious that Mary played a critical role in the battle and that she was recognized as a patriot um, who fought for American independence, according to University Wire. The waters are murky, um, but one can certainly say that Mary was a brave patriot who had a direct role in the re revolution worth documenting in history. During this era, it would be almost unheard of for a woman to become a soldier or to fight in war, making uh, Mary's story really intriguing and very worth investigating. In history, the importance of documenting women who played critical roles in the American Revolution is critical to understanding historical significance as well as the bravery of these figures. If the British knew of a woman who was involved in a revolt against them, there would be severe consequences making this case for bravery and um, the hero heroic nature of Mary's actions just amazing. One interesting thought is how um, she was known as Mary Pritcher, but that was actually the nickname for um, women who distributed the water to the soldiers in the pitchers. And um, I'm wondering now if that might be how they came up with the name, um, starting with the Mary. Um, so that's my discussion for today. Thank you for listening.